Hey, you got Fox here. It's Sunday, and you know what that means. Mailbag day. The sponsor today are the bears with no teeth, also known as gummy bears. So let's get on to the first question from Danny the Consumer. 96 route running does what? Where'd you get that info? Basically, 96 route running uh, was shown by a user on the Mudhead forums to give an, uh, or take away an extra chop step from players on out routes and certain routes, basically making them um, faster getting the cuts off. I will link it in the description. You can read it as the first paragraph um, that really gets into it that shows that the 96 is kind of like a cut point where uh, they are much better at doing their job. So, next question from Brandon Green. Hey, got Fox. What are your thoughts on Zadarius Smith? Is he worth the price? And is he worth getting two for the upgrade? Yes, definitely worth getting two for the upgrade. Uh, I, I want to talk about this and get into um, a post on uh, the Mutt subreddit by Squiffy Wolf. Squiffy Wolf. There it is. Um, he did basically a breakdown of Mutt's rating, did a regression analysis on them, and determined what uh, percentage each one's played and uh, the overall ratings on players and he found Mutt was basically you know 45 percent or 45 overall points lower than the regular uh, rosters so if like a regular roster guy would be 93 overall and Mutt he'd be 89 uh, something kind of new is it's, there's a whole lot of things to get into I'll link this one too in the description if you want to read it all uh, but the interesting thing about Zadarius Smith so I asked him in the comment section if he could do it on left ends and um, he did thankfully and there's a he linked a Google Docs spreadsheet of all the left ends and what their actual mutt overall is versus their projected mutt overall based on the uh, analysis he did there and uh, what it should be. And basically, Zadarius Smith, um, he, every single left end was within like a half point or so of what he projected it based on the ratings and what their overall end of the mutt is. There were four left ends that weren't. Uh, three of them are Zadarius Smith, his 80, 86, and 87, so the Shepter Stars, and Rob Nikovich's 82, which was 3.95 off. And we don't know why. He doesn't know why those four uh, were different, but Zadarius Smith basically is a 95 overall dual style, but in Mutt they have him at 87. So he is the ultimate budget left end and somebody that you will be able to play for cheap for a long time on your squad. So definitely look and pick it up, Zadarius Smith. So he also did this for other positions like quarterback, cornerback, halfback, I see on his spreadsheet here. And uh, he found for quarterbacks, I know it to be basically the same breakdown as the 538 article that was done on Mutt ratings, uh, so or on Madden ratings. So Madden rating base and Mutt are very similar. But cornerbacks, it was slightly different. In Mutt, um, awareness is worth much less than it is in regular Madden ratings, which is funny because I found in my defensive testing that awareness has very little to do with how defensive backs and stuff play the ball uh, so that's it. so it's like mutt is more accurate because play rack is valued more in mutt and that is exactly how they have it uh, rated now in mutt anyways let's move on to news let me know if you guys have any questions on that we could talk through it's very interesting um, that guy did a lot of great work there uh, showing how ratings are done and I give Mr. What was it? Uh, Squiffy Wolf credit. All right, ask credit. What do you think your future self will say to you? Uh, keep up the terrible work on the whole, you know, diet thing. Reddit, what's the best comeback? I'm not on a diet. I'm just kidding. Reddit, what's the best comeback you have ever instantly dished out? We did a comeback a couple weeks ago. What two animals combined would make the deadliest creature? A hippopotamus's anger and a cat's ferocity. That's terrible. Just go with scorpion and a freaking lion or something. Body art piercing and salon professionals Reddit. What are the unspoken rules I should be aware of when doing business with you? Um, body art piercing. They always want to pierce and do body art to like uh, your butthole. Hey Reddit. So if you can do butthole, do butthole first. What can lakes be considered any less? Doesn't make sense. When can lakes be considered any less water than oceans? Ocean aren't lakes surrounded by land, or oceans surround land? But yeah, I don't think there, there's only. Well, okay. Anyways, most important question in the history of the, of important questions: PS4, or Xbox One. I run an Xbox One, but they're the same freaking thing. Reddit. What were the '90s like? 
Um, I remember the 90s. Let's see. Uh, crash economically in the mid 90s. Not too bad. Late 90s, we got boomed with economics. Clinton scandal. Um, OJ Simpson. What else stands out for that? Uh, otherwise, 90s, a lot of optimism, I think, about America. It was a big Asian market crash that lowered prices. I think something that's kind of going on right, of oil. Uh, so something that's kind of going on right now. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, I liked it. You know, I was young and everybody kind of enjoys their youth unless something bad happened. How can mirrors be real if her eyes aren't real? That's too real for me. What are most expensive pair of shoes that you own? Um, well, I just duct tape my feet every day. Uh, what what would win in a fight, a domestic cat or a speedboat? Um, I would. It depends. Is the speedboat driven by a dog? There's so much of this question that could be left up to interpretation. Uh, one for one, I'm gonna go with the cat. Actually, no, that's. I'm gonna go with the speedboat. The other one's a pussy. Uh, what led human? What led the humans this way? Um, evolution. Dance Dance Revolution. People who knew music celebrities before they got famous. What is the biggest change to their personality? I did not know any music celebrities before they got famous. Um, the only person I knew before they got famous was Dave. And um, he's still awesome. Is being emotional good or bad? Um, I would say it's bad. Emotions are the worst. Hey, that's the end of the game. He quits. That went pretty well. I didn't even predict games. Um... Let's see, Kansas City, Pittsburgh, Seattle, Green Bay. I'll take the visitors. All right, thanks. Call the action. I'll see you tomorrow.